My dad was a keen fisherman, so uh, there's usually water knocking around somewhere. He caught everything, you know, um, the conger eels and cod and hig and all sorts of stuff. Climbing over rocks, fishing off cliffs, and it, it was an easy and it was a cheap thing to do, and it was, uh, it's, yeah, just obsessed with it. Come down here, and I thought I'd sit here and relax. No, I was just looking forward to it. I just love the fresh air and it clears my head. It's just really, you know, the sun's not right in your face. It's to the side of you, so it's like, I just like it. You know, I love traveling with Sheila and that kind of moment of, you know, knowing we're going on holiday and being able to just be with each other. But there's a really nice moment of relief of like, okay, this is, uh, this is it and I'll just switch off. I remember my father found me watching the river one day and he said, don't be tempted, it'll mesmerize you in. <laughs> and of course he was right. Still, I still chuck a line out now and then and I've done quite a lot of, yeah, just uh, never had quite had the skills of my dad who seems to be able to just understand it more. I, I just, I like all the gear, chuck stuff over the side and just kind of wait and then don't catch anything. <laughs> I always think when I'm here about different things. Quite often I, I'll be thinking about just not having to think about where I've been thinking all week long. <laughs> What's really nice about it is there's when, when the beach gets to low tide and, you know, you can walk right down to the bottom of the beach where the sea meets the sand and there's these sort of rocky area and there's crabs and it's a really cool place to kind of just go. I mean, the main thing about fishing is you, you tend not to think about anything else, <laughs> which is where, with our busy lives, it's like you just, I just sit through a line in and then you're relaxed and it's wonderful. And it is the, the thought that's something, if you, if you do get a hint of a fish that, well, that's it, I, I'll stay for hours. You just sit on the rocks and listen to the waves crashing into the rocks. And I find that, you know, really peaceful. I remember um, Hillary's mother, very sensible in some ways, a woman saying, if the police pick you up, call him officer, not constable. And that seemed to me such a very sensible... My own mother, had she known, had been uh, stirred to hysterics, I think. I'm not a strong swimmer, but I wasn't a weak one. I was at the wind farm, actually, in my boat the other day. I did see one fish jump at the water and pulled up. <laughs> and chucked a line out, thinking I'm going to catch that particular one. Of course I didn't. Yeah. That's what, hook, that's what hooks you. That's the sense that you could uh, kind of uh, be reading something in when it just, for me, it just doesn't happen. I don't spend enough time doing it. But, uh... Just not thinking for a bit, which sounds a bit contradictory, but yeah. And there's always a moment um, we go for a walk and we sit on the rocks and we just kind of like, you know, kind of take nice deep breaths and listen to the kind of the waves crashing against the rocks. Happy uh, that we're together and in this place and, you know, very lucky. It was quite late. I think it was probably about to midnight or a bit later. I have no memory of seeing other people about. It was absolutely um, slack. There's no movement in the water at all. So yes, I never regretted that, but I've never repeated it or felt the urge to do so.